All right, it's Mike Messier. Just a quick kind of uh, backlash response. I did watch it. Yes, I did cancel the network, but I still have a few days left. So watching while I, while I have it. Backlash thoughts. I'm not going to go match by match, but basically it was kind of what I thought going in. I even put it in writing on a message board that Miz and Seth would have the match of the night, which is not a, going out too far on a limb, but they did have the match of the night. And... Sometimes the problem is, or the situation is, when you have the match of the night first, you know, and I'm thinking back, if it was, uh, was it Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio Jr., Halloween Havoc 97, all the way back, was that the first match of that show? And then you have to kind of dig and dig and dig into two and a half, three hours of wrestling. You know, sometimes the, or even three and a half hours of wrestling, sometimes having the match of the night first, um, it's a mixed bag because... As far as, you know, false finishes or athleticism or a really awesome match, once you've given people Miz and Seth tearing the house down, well, what, what's left of the house? So, you know, guys like Paul Heyman or even Cornette, um, you know, they knew how to book a show to kind of arc the evening's matches. You know what I mean? Uh, in other words, build to something, have some peaks, have some valleys. Somewhere along the lines, and it might have been, you know, the Nitro era where, you know, these these shows started, put the hot match first, get the crowd all psyched up, that's fine, but you still have to, you still have to go somewhere after that, you still have to have more wrestling, so you can't just, you know, Miz and Seth, if you had, if that had been a world title match or whatever the fuck, and put that last, no one would have blinked an eye, you know? Um, because the match was that good. And did they do anything like like some type of gif or some type of fucking highlight spot? They might have. I don't recall that of any just one move that was so fucking good. It was more like the whole match was really so fucking good. And anyway, I don't want to blow about it too much, but fucking Miz was on... Uh, that show, the po <laughs> this was even funny. He said, "This is this is SmackDown talk or smacking talk or talking smack." And Renee Young, you know, and is uh, who seemed to be suffering. I made a point. Renee Young seemed to be suffering before the show from a rash on her neck, and I'm not trying to point that out just to be a jerk. But unless it was my TV with bad color, it seemed like Renee was suffering from a rash. And someone made a pointed uh, jab that maybe she got it from Ambrose which I, I wouldn't go that far. I didn't say that. Someone else did. Um, going back to my little post-fucking-show thing, Miz kind of was baby-facing. It was a weird deal where, like, Miz was kind of baby-facing Renee, and Miz is doing this thing. It's kind of funny where he's putting over his infant daughter left and right. Like, he's kind of building up his daughter on, on the rare chance that she wants to be a woman's wrestler 20 years from now. You know, she'll be ready because Miz has hyped her up in the Monroe Sky from... Ms. Mazarian and Maurice, so uh, kudos to her. Um, I'm sure one day we'll all be wearing fucking Nicholas t-shirts, right? Or, or if you're not already, um, and fucking all this other shit. I mean, life goes fast, blah, blah, blah. Um, g going back to that fucking uh, pay-per-view actually itself, um, Carmella, I thought, was the highlight. It was kind of weird because Car Carmella, you know, to Charlotte's credit, Carmella did get a lot of offense in, she almost, I wouldn't say no soul, but it was almost like she was too good, Carmella, offensively, and you can't nitpick this stuff too much, because, you know, even Taz was saying that Carmella is putting over Charlotte too much, Is and I mean, now Carmella really did it, I beat Charlotte Flair, I, I beat Charlotte Flair, so you wonder if Carmella heard Taz's comments, uh, but I thought it was good, I thought it was good that, that Charlotte fucking, you know, put over with kind of the knee buckling thing, because that's one of those deals where, okay, she beat her, but she beat her because her knee buckled, and it's fine. Uh, the Samoa Joe-Roman match, look, to have that match, uh, you know, uh, immediately uh, the fans, as soon as that match ended, they cut to the fans, and you can see people grabbing coats. People were not standing up to applaud a great titanic struggle between tough, badass Samoans. They were grabbing coats. Now, for me, I actually fell asleep during the match, and I woke up this morning, and I said, oh, shit, you know, I saw 
fucking talking post SmackDown pay per view thing, but I missed this fucking match in its entirety. So I went back and I watched this thing at 7 30 in the morning. Uh, and was it a horrible match? No. I, I thought Joe kind of carried himself like a world champion. I don't think he sold very well. Not that he has to be fucking Kurt Henning, but it kind of was a match that I was like, okay, Joe's got to dominate this thing 80%, get all this heat, and then take a couple of Superman punches and a spear, and that's the end of the match. And my real thought for this pay-per-view is if they really just wanted to disregard the world championship because they wanted to do this double kick below the balls thing, continue this feud, which I'm fine with for now, uh, Nakamura and AJ, why not put fucking Daniel Bryan in a situation where uh, early in the fucking pay-per-view, he gets attacked in the dressing room by Big Cass, some fucking bullshit segment, and then they have this running gimmick throughout the show where Daniel Bryan cannot compete. We, we you know, and have fucking Paige or have fucking even Kurt Angle come out. It's like, Daniel, I'd really like to wrestle in the future, but you can't risk your career again wrestling Big Cass and all this fucking hype. So they literally keep pushing this Daniel Bryan and Cass match, keep pushing it and bumping it towards the end. 